Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, tonight I'm just not wild camping but I suppose we are in a way uh, overlooking uh, Halifax. Uh, so we're at the top of Beacon Hill. Um, I'll throw in the what three words location for anybody that is interested in it but please please do respect where we come to and uh, you know I'll, I'll share it but look after it. Uh, but yeah behind me there if you're familiar with here you can see the Westminster just there. And then just here we've got Peace Hall and then sort of going off in that direction we've got the, the view cinema. So we've got a, a lovely view, you can see the sun setting, it looks really, really... What's the word I'm looking for? Spectacular. Spectacular, that's a good word, thank you very much. Uh, the voice you just heard then is Vegan Outdoorsman. As always there'll be a link to his channel down below. Uh, and Daniel's as well, who's just having a little bit of a wonder. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to... Uh, Get set up, have a little ch well I'm not going to get set up just yet, it's still too early, I've just finished work. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a little chat in a minute, I'll see you soon. Right, well my last little post obviously set a little bit of confusion off. Um, so I put a post on last week saying, you know, I abandoned camp because I lost my mojo whilst filming. And I was out with Dan the English Woodsman and a lot of people sort of commented and said, you know, Dan will do that to you, it's his personality this that and the other and I just want to set the record straight it wasn't Dan that we were with we just had a lot of things go wrong we were camping with a, a mate called Adie and uh, he was setting up his hammock and he sort of pulled out the cordage the whoopish thing of his gathered end hammock so I ended up refreading it and then he did the same with his tarp by accident and then uh, did all that and he, he just got a bit poorly so we just sort of out of respect and out of Losing sort of the mojo on the night, we just abandoned camera and just had a bit of a chat around fire. So yeah, that's just setting that record straight. So any confusion I cause, I do apologise. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. It wasn't Dan's fault at all. <laughs> so yeah, right. Let's show you some of this. What did you reckon to that footage? I mean, we were all stood up just behind this camera's ear, like uh, a little scene from King of the Hill, you know, at the start, and we all just sort of stood drinking and whatnot. Oh, we weren't drinking, we were just stood talking. Well, that looked phenomenal. Just watch a little bit of footage back and just how busy the world looks and little rat runs all going over. You just see the little lights flying all over it. It was just uh, quite amazing to watch back. It doesn't look anything like that in real life, but yeah, really enjoyed that. So yeah, now we're gonna find somewhere to pitch. I've brought with me a real mixed match of gear tonight, just whatever I could lay my hand on. I've not had uh, a great deal of time this week. I've been really, really busy. Uh, literally done scouting four nights this week, uh, three different groups, and then started my uh, squirrel scouts this week. Um, really enjoyed that. Got a long way to go with them. First night, uh, very, very hectic, very, very busy, just games and getting to know the kids, getting to know the parents and just yeah, filling them full of e-numbers and sending them home so I'm really sorry but yeah 
that's what we did. Uh, but yeah, I've had a, a really busy week doing that and then just threw together the kit that I've got with me tonight. Hopefully I'll be warm enough. I brought a new sleep suit that I, I got for Christmas. Uh, so I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to getting a good night's kip and working up to that. Time's gone on a little bit now. It's coming up uh, quarter past seven. So I'm just going to stick the kettle on. Make me send a brew. I've literally gone for a cheapest chips camp tonight. I'm going to brew first of all. And then I'll show you what I'm cooking. Not a great deal at all. So if you're tuning in for cooking, I do apologise. But tonight, we've just got a tin of carrot and coriander soup. Can you see that? A tin of carrot and coriander soup, and then a tin of uh, Thai style sweet chili noodles, like similar to a pot noodle type thing. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to uh, make the water, get the noodles nice and done, cook the soup, and then add the soup into the noodles. Just sort of thicken the noodles up so it's going to be like a, a noodle soup. Uh, see what the flavours turn out like. But yeah, just nice, cheap and cheerful night. Uh, a bit of a lightweight one. Getting to back in the January. January is always a nightmare, isn't it, for everybody after Christmas? But I've got my wife's birthday to think about as well in the middle of uh, back in the January, so got to save some pennies for that. Right, sit back and watch this. Yes, yeah, so just a nice, simple overnight camp is this one. Just I can't remember who told us about this little spot, but. Uh, so it's it's not big enough to get a great deal of tents up here and stuff and the uh, hammock spots are brilliant and they're right, they're right, they're right down like a bit of a ridge uh, so you won't get the view that we've got looking out over Halifax now from the hammock spots because you'd have all the, the trees and you're in like a bit of a dip but yeah it's uh, nice and uh, peaceful up here we've, we saw a couple of people earlier doors but other than that we've not seen anybody up here uh, temperature's starting to drop, I don't know if you can see on camera now my uh, breath coming through. Show you the tent as well if I can. And just see, there it's starting to frost up a little bit. Temperature's dropped quite, uh, quite a lot. Yeah, it looks alright, doesn't it? sit here wait for the kettle to boil make the coffee so I don't know whether to do the soup in the noodles or do the soup and then the noodles or what I think I'm gonna thicken it up and just make like a noodle soup just one sort of shebang meal loads of kilocalories <laughs> yeah all right let's see how this is doing just look at that view. <laughs> awesome, isn't it? So I'm looking right over um, Peace Hall. And it's still busy down there. Still looks like a little bit of a rat race. But Peace Hall, I think we made like 1800s. Because um, like Yorkshire were famous for like wool and wool exchange and silks and stuff like that. A bit more hair. And I think that's what. Um, that was made for. Off to the left, you could see, I don't know if it's called Wainwright Tower or Norton Tower. Um, that was built as a folly. You can just sort of see the green light. 
that we've got up there, then there's all kinds of little landmarks in Halifax that you just don't know about until so you sort of take the time to go on explore a little bit. Jivet Street, they've still got the stocks from where they used to do the public hangings. And the, the pub, just off Pelham Lane, called The Running Man. And the tale behind that was if you got beyond that, uh, if you escaped your hanging, and got beyond The Running Man, you were, you were sort of free to go. Yeah, there's quite a lot of history in Halifax that you just don't realise. Nice little spot, and obviously then as you get further out beyond it, you've got Sowerby Bridge and all the way up to sort of Todmorden uh, on the Rochdale Canal. There could be some good camping spots up there. Studley Pike, driven past that a few times. Hollingworth Lake, lots and lots of little spots. Right, looks like I'm boiling, so I'm just going to add this into my little cup to so just so I don't burn my lips, really. <laughs> For some reason as well, it tastes better out of wood. I've had my cooks in now a couple of weeks, got it at Christmas. And uh, it just tastes better. I don't know what it is. There it goes. There we go, I'll give that a stir in a second and then go and sit and enjoy that. What I've decided to do, I'm going to stick my stove back on. You still see the water's boiling from uh, making the drink a second ago. And now I'm going to put the noodles and the soup into uh, my little nesting cup. Enough water in there for the noodles already. Oh, he's gone and done it, Annie. Look at that. He's, he's pulled a scot on it. Rip the lid. I'm going to peg him in it. Let's get them straight in there. Whoa. Give them a minute on their own. Then we'll add the soup in and thicken it up. Right, so I've got my noodles on for a bit. Let's get this soup added in now. Again, leave no trace. We'll put the lid on. And we'll let that uh, sort of all cook together, see how it turns out. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but just where these sort of lights are here, if you follow the line up, you can see the Westminster, just sort of, uh, Westminster, the Halifax Minster, just sort of on the brow below it, and you can hear the bells. I can hear the bells, I don't know if you can or not, but I'm going mental for some reason or another. Friday night. <laughs> Who knows what's going on? I've just added in a little bit of steak season because I've got my cook set with me. I brought obviously my snug pack strap um, endurance and it's just constantly strapped to that anyway. But I've added in uh, a bit of steak season just to see what it does. But how does that look? It looks a bit, a bit yellow on there actually. So look, there you go. A bit more orangey. You got herbs and spices there from the, the noodles. And it's just thickened it up. Nice and simple. Less than a pound for this meal. Cheapest chips there. Eh? Gonna add in some chili flakes, you can see them. Full pot. It's not nice about it. Eh? Stirred in. Right at the bottom. There we go. 
Yeah, I've just made me a nice and simple camping meal. Uh, soup and noodles. And uh, I've left the stove going just so that I've got a little bit of warmth because it is dropping quite cold now. Got my bare hands, but I've got my gloves on my bag. Uh, obviously, I can warm them up on the cup as well at the minute while we're cooking. Or while we've been cooking. Feels good actually. Uh, but yeah, let's have a quick taste of it, shall we? So yeah, carrot and coriander soup, and Thai sweet chili noodles. It worked. Mm. Yeah, it really worked. Again, under the quid, and then I got add the chili flakes and the steak seasoning. Gives it a nice little twist to the flavours. Not the best meal I've had, but it'll suffice. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Right, well, it's coming up nearly 10 o'clock, and you can see the sort of layer of frost that we're getting on the tents. Try and get a bit of focus for you. There you go, look at that. Go show you Dan's now. And this is Dan's in his uh, his gear top bivy, very similar to the stratosphere. You can just sort of see how white it is going. It's gonna be a cold night this one. At least this is uh, vegan Dan. Look at that. <laughs> Right, well, as you can see, I'm in the tent, ready to go to bed. It's frozen outside, uh, temperature's not dropped to below zero, but you can see the frost's coming. I think it's just about, just above zero, so like one degree. Uh, I've got my new sleep suit on that I got for Christmas from the wife. Uh, it's like an insulated jacket, insulated trousers, and then some insulated boots. And then I've actually got my daughter's sleeping bag, snug pack, uh, sleep light, and then just a, a cheap sort of air mat. But it started to warm up in here really quite quickly as well, so quite impressed. But I'm trying to get my head down. I'll see you in a bit. Well, good morning. It's quarter past six. I think it's time to uh, start making a move. I have slept like an absolute baby. This uh, new sleep suit has made a hell of a difference. Uh, the Sundic buoys. I'll leave a link to all the little bits that I bought because it's, it's not come as a complete set, just bits that are thrown together. The only thing that I'm missing is the uh, insulated hood. But yeah, it's looked like a baby. Bit of tossing and turning, but it's a good night overall. Right, let's see what I'm waking up to. Well, you can see it's frosty as chuff. You can see there, look on the outside of the tent. Um, but look at that view. The world started moving again, and I'm just waking up. So I've just been laid here for a bit, just mesmerised by the twinkling lights. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up on the twinkling, but you can sort of see a little bit up here, can't you, somewhere? Up here. Sort of there somewhere, I see some twinkling. And I've just been sort of mesmerised watching it. That tiny little explosion, I don't know, they're not, but... Quite therapeutic, got the noise of the trains going past, and then sort of life coming back. Yeah, it's just uh, quite surreal to watch. It's a weird camping place because normally you wake up in the woods and it's just you and the wildlife. Whereas now you can see that everybody else is up and about and moving and. You know, on the way to work on Saturday morning or 
some people might be just coming back from a night out and some people think it's a drag strip by the sound of it but yeah it's really weird to just sit and watch them and I'm what say a quarter of a mile half a mile outside that town centre maybe life goes on and I'm sort of tucked up in bed it's really weird well, it's time to get up and get packed away. Uh, it's not going to be glamorous this morning. The uh, ground's a little bit frozen, so I'm just going to leave you with that. Sun's coming up now. We're getting out of here. Right, well, that's me for another video. As you can see, the sun's come up now. We're all packed up, booked it, packed it, and now we're off. Uh, so, yeah, there'll be a link to both Daniel's channels in my description as always. So, Vegan Outdoorsman and English Woodsman. Go across and give them a little bit of support as well. Uh, but, yeah, for now, I'm out of here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment, let me know what you thought. And if you're not already, Subscribe by pressing this in the middle and I'll leave videos either side for you. See you in a bit. Backpack kid, eh? <laughs> Got no on you, pal. No on you. <laughs>